Mr. Chairman, the objective of this program is to advance amateur sport, recreation, and youth development for all, from leisure activity to athletic excellence, and to strengthen the significant contribution that these initiatives make towards the enhancement of the quality of life for the total community. Mr. Chairman, the budget for the general administration section is 100 million, I'm sorry, is 1,438,762 dollars, slight Freudian slip there. These funds provide for the administration and operations of the Department of Youth, Sport, and Recreation's headquarters located in the F.B. Perry Building on Church Street in Hamilton. This estimate sustains the department's administrative staff salaries and wages, staff training, office rent, program advertising, communications, materials, and supplies. The administrative section provides administrative support to the other eight programs within the department. Mr. Chairman, this section is responsible for the monitoring of the departmental spending to ensure that the proper policies and procedures are adhered to so that taxpayer money is used as effectively and as efficiently as possible. Program 2002, Sport Development, also on page B236. Mr. Chairman, the objective of this program is to work with community sports clubs to establish a national system of effective sports development and management, to work with community sports clubs to encourage family and community use of sports facilities, to support the creation of a system for local coaches to provide specialized instruction and support through grants, community organizations concerned with sports. Mr. Chairman, this program estimate provides of $2,642,169 for a number of government sports initiatives, including the annual grants for the national sports governing bodies, the 2013 NatWest Island Games, the Bermuda Sport Anti-Doping Authority, in the amount of 2 million one hundred thirty-two thousand. $669. In addition, there are funds for the Bermuda Football Association of $400,000 and a government grant of $25,000 for the National Sailing and Swimming Programs. The sum of $59,500 has been allocated to cover costs relating to training, recreational services and supplies, sports promotion, travel costs, and Bermuda Days. Mr. Chairman, the objective of this program is consistent with the department's mission and where the focus is on support and the recognition of significant annual sports achievements and contributions. Programs that permanently chronicle, acknowledge, and memorialize the outstanding performances, performances and contributions of Bermudians in sports, as well as programs and activities that support high-performance athletes and junior development initiatives. Mr. Chairman, this program provides encouragement and incentives to our athletes, both senior and junior, to strive for excellence in their personal development. An estimate of $100,000 is provided to the Bermuda Olympic Association for the benefit of those athletes meeting the required standards to receive assistance from this fund. The program is managed by the BOA, who prescribes the requirements for athletes to receive funding having met local A, B, or C standard in their development. Junior athletes are provided assistance through the Junior Athlete sponsorship fund, and $50,000 is provided to one athlete per sport who is presented to the department as the most promising junior athlete in their sport, 
who should be exposed to overseas training, coaching, or competition to enhance his or her further development. Program 2004, Sports Facilities Management, also on page B236. Mr. Chairman, the objective of this program is to focus the department's support on the acquisition, development, maintenance, administration, and operation of public sport and recreation facilities, and to assist with the upgrading of sport and recreation facilities. The budget allocation for 2013-2014 is sports facilities, $1,344,374. WMC Precy Softball Stadium, $141,000. 366, WER Tennis Stadium, 321,657 dollars, Motorsport Park, 69,000 dollars, Sports Community Fields, 82,188 dollars, for a total allocation of 1,958,588. Mr. Chairman, this estimate provides funding for the National Sports Center's operational grant of $650,000. The additional $600,000 is allocated for the operation and maintenance of the Aquatic Center, which will be functional later this year. This funding will also provide for the maintenance of the department's recreational fields. These costs, as I said, include $82,000 $188 for cleaning supplies, trash receptacles, trash bags, field marking paint, agricultural supplies, and specialized equipment needed for the upkeep of these facilities. Mr. Chairman, note should be made of the increase of $25,000 to allow the Department of Youth, Sport, and Recreation to address maintenance needs to the government's community fields. The WMC pre-softball stadium estimate of $141,366 provides for one full-time and one part-time employee to maintain the grounds and includes materials, supplies, and electricity. The WER Joe Tennis Stadium employs three full-time and four part-time employees. Maintenance materials, supplies, electricity, including f floodlights, are also included in this estimate of $321,657. Mr. Chairman, the following information is a summarized report on the events that took place within the sports development section during the 2012-2013 calendar year. The year started off on a very positive note despite the economic challenges. This section of the department received a total budget allocation in 2012-2013 of $4,159,374. However, Mr. Chairman, when looking at these figures closely, it is important to note that $2,815,000 has been assigned to the department grants process. These funds were allotted to 20 national sports governing bodies. Cricket and football combined received a total of $600,000. The 2012 Carifta Games and the NetWest Island Games combined received $891,000. The Bermuda Sports Anti-Doping Authority received $650,000. When reviewing these five grant allocations, it represents 67% of the grant allotment. The sum of $674,000 was allotted to the other 18 national sports governing bodies and SGBs. This represents 24% of the grant allotment. Mr. Chairman, despite these challenges, 
the department was able to assist those NSGBs that actually applied for funding. Under the strict control of the sports development section, the department continues to ensure that the funds allotted to the NSGBs were used for the development of Bermuda's junior athletes. In addition to the grant process, they were able to provide funding to the Bermuda Sports Anti-Doping Authority for drug-free sports. This agency, under the control of the World Anti-Doping Agency, WADA, is probably one of the most important financial items within the sports development section. WADA's function, as outlined in their mission statement, is to provide for the coordinated development and implementation of programs and policies associated with achieving a sporting environment free of illicit substance abuse, including counseling, research, education, appeals, and arbitration. Mr. Chairman, without the functional presence of this organization in Bermuda, it would simply mean that as a country would not be able to participate, that Bermuda as a country would not be able to participate in any international sporting event abroad or be able to host any international sporting events locally. Mr. Chairman, this year marked the 31st anniversary of the government's sport awards. This year, the Sports Awards Committee selected a male and female senior and junior athlete of the year. Seven athletes received achievement awards and one special recognition award. In addition to these awards, the department presented 14 junior athletes with sponsorship awards to assist in their sports development. In conjunction with the Bermuda National Athletics Association, the BNAA, formerly the BTFA, Bermuda Track and Field Association, the Department of Youth, Sport, and Recreation played a major role in supporting the 41st Lyme Carifta Games. This event brought the country together during these hard economic times. The island was thrilled as young Justin Donawa captured a gold medal in the under-17 boys triple jump, the first in 10 years. Mr. Chairman, during the 2013-2014 budget year, the department intends to continue focusing on the development of our athletics by supporting the national sports governing bodies. The role of the national sports governing bodies play, the role that the national sports governing bodies play is paramount to the development of our senior and junior athletes. The department also plans to host a conference and workshop that will amplify the importance of good governance in the sporting arena, particularly, particularly with community clubs. The department will continue to work with other government agencies to maintain the department's sporting and recreational facilities, as it is important to address the conditions of Bermuda's facilities. If we develop our facilities, we will raise the standards of our athletes, and this is critical if we wish to see our athletes reach the highest levels. Mr. Chairman, the department will continue to host sporting events. For example, this year, the WER Joe Tennis Stadium, in conjunction with the Bermuda Lawn Tennis Association, will host the ITF Junior Tennis Championship in June. This event will see the best junior tennis players in the region compete for honors. The NatWest Island Games will also be hosted in Bermuda. And again, we will witness the true spirit of sportsmanship and competition. Mr. Chairman, the department will also attempt to finalize their presentation of the sports and recreation policy. It is their plan to meet with the major stakeholders and obtain feedback that will lead to a policy that fosters a new generation for sports in Bermuda.